Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial on multiplying fractions. And we're going to start off using a simple example of, uh, let's say, uh, 1 over 3 times by 2. And what is the answer? Now, if you imagine using a pizza, okay, if we divide the pizza into three equivalent slices, and we highlight one slice, and let's say we multiply this by 2, obviously we're going to end up with two slices. Okay, so 1 over 3 times 2 is going to be the same thing as 2 over 3. Right, so using the picture it's easy, but is there a general rule for multiplying fractions? And uh, if you think of the number 2, the number 2 is actually the same thing as 2 over 1. Right, because 2 over 1, well we actually haven't talked about this yet, but the fraction symbol can actually be interpreted as the same thing as divide. So 2 over 1 is actually the same thing as 2 divided by 1 and the answer of which is 2. So if we replace that with if we replace the number 2 with 2 over 1 then we can rewrite the top line as 1 over 3 times 2 over 1 and with fractions when you're multiplying all you have to do is you get the numerator times the numerator and combine them into one fraction so you put the numerator together and then you put the denominator together with the multiplying sign so 3 times 1 as the denominator and then you get 2 over 3 as the answer. So knowing this rule we can do a harder problem. Let's do 4 over 5 times 6 over 8. And 4 times 6 is 24. 5 times 8 is 40. And then you probably notice that both of these are even numbers, so let's divide both of them by 4. And we get 6 over 10. Now let's divide both of them by 2. And we get 3 over 5. So that's simplified. Now a quicker way of simplifying is before we even combine them, you can see that there is a 4, sorry, there is a 6 and an 8. So let's simplify it before we even multiply them. So let's divide both of these numbers by 2 so we get 3 over 4. And now you can see that there is a 4 on the bottom and a 4 on the top. Now when you're multiplying, it actually doesn't matter if the numbers are on either of the fractions simply because when you're multiplying you're going to combine them anyway so it's going to end up as 4 times 3 over 5 times 4 and you can rewrite the order as uh, 4 times 3 over 4 times 5 because with multiplication it doesn't matter if it's 5 times 4 or 4 times 5 it gives you the same answer and then 4 times 3 over 4 times 5 you can separate them again into separate fractions because if you remember how we combined them in the first place you can simply separate them again back to their original form and then 4 over 4 can be simplified into 1 over 1. Alright, so instead of doing all of this what you can do is get rid of all of this and just simplify at the beginning where you can see 
a 4 at the top, a 4 at the bottom, let's cross them out. 4 divided by 4 is 1, 4 divided by 4 is 1. So we're left with some very simple numbers to multiply. 1 times 3 is 3, 5 times 1 is 5. So you have saved yourself a lot of multiplying and dividing uh, big numbers. But obviously if you want to, you don't have to do it this way. You can simply deal with the very big numbers and simplify them slowly. So let's do another one. Let's do uh, 20 over 60 times uh, 6 over 4. Now if you want to do them the hard way you can simply go 20 times 6 over 60 times 4 which makes it uh, 120 over 240 actually that's pretty easy because 120 times 2 is 240 so that's just 1 over 2 uh, so if you wanted to you can simplify them before you start multiplying so 20 over 60 times 6 over 4 you have 20 and 4 can be turned into 5 over 1 and 6 over 60 can be turned into 1 over 10 so then you're left with 5 over 10 which is easily simplified into 1 over 2 so whichever way you want to do it is fine but I would suggest you do this way here the preferred way the preferred method uh, simply because it is a bit quicker okay thank you for watching the tutorial on how to multiply fractions see you next time